This is a old drill I've had forever. Um, originally, I had a, a Black and Decker a Super Cyclone, and uh, that was my second drill I had. Uh, the Black and Decker Super Cyclone was the um, industrial, their industrial line of cordless drills. Um, it would become the DeWalt after that. So all the, uh, the first DeWalt drills were, were designed after it. But anyway, I wore it out and uh, I used it so much. And uh, then a friend of mine gave me, he gave me a, a, a Bosch 18 volt. Um, oh, it's what this is. Um, and the reason he gave it to me is the drill worked, but the, um, the batteries were, um, I don't know, like $79 a piece or something. Well, anyway, what I did is I cut the handle in half and I put my old um, Black & Decker uh, batteries, battery packs, and uh, uh, used them on it. So, the, so it still lives a little bit. I, I still have the old Super Cyclone charger and I have a couple of the old battery packs. I've got both of them and they're both really bad because they've been rebuilt over the... I don't know, 20 years or however long I've had it. I've rebuilt the battery packs a couple times. And they don't come apart either. These don't have screws in them like some of the newer ones do. They're glued. And anyway, so I've, I've rebuilt them and they're into the usefulness. Um, this is one I rebuilt here just recently. Uh, it was a battery I got on a closeout table. And I, as a matter of fact, I got it from Home Depot. You can see it's painted orange. Um, it was a used battery. I got it for like 10 bucks or something. And I used it till it went bad. Well, I just recently, uh, I cut the bottom off and I put batteries in it that's bigger. I did that a while back, so I've used it a few times. But I'm running out of cases in junk. So I wanted to try something different. And uh, with the new lithium batteries and stuff, so what I did is I did a conversion on this box. And I hollowed it out. And... Uh, it's got a, I put uh, some, just some thin plywood or, or thin pieces of wood in here like a, oh, it's, it's, they're like an eighth of an inch thick. Just, it was just some scrap stuff I had. And uh, then I got these plugs from uh, Hobby King. That's where I got the batteries from too. I, I actually ordered these, uh, I don't know whether you can see them over there or not. I had uh quite a few of them. You can see them stacked up there. I had them from another project. And uh, so anyway, I, I decided I'd try them out and they work really good. This is, these are 2.2 uh, 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 amper hours instead of uh, like that other drill I was just using as a one and a half. But they work pretty good. And uh, then I did one for my 18 volt drill too. And uh, I got batteries for it. But the, the batteries, these batteries cost me when I bought them. I paid, uh, oh, I think I paid like seven bucks a piece for these. They were on sale. I think they're more than that now. They're probably, I think I wrote it down. I can't remember. I think they're 20 bucks. And then they're, uh, yeah, they're, no, the, these are like 12 bucks now, I think. But if you can get them on sale, like I said, I got these on sale when they're on sale. And then the 18 volt ones I got, those are like 20 bucks. Um, and you can charge these up. If, if you don't have a charger, you can use one of these uh, um, IMAX V6. Uh, this is a clone. Um, these sell for about um, 18 bucks. And these will charge just about any battery there is. Uh, NICADs, uh, lead acid, uh, lithium, uh, um, metal hydride, nickel metal hydride, any of those. Um, so it's a pretty good charger. And it comes with a bunch of different cables. I usually, uh, I usually just charge this off of, uh, these run off 12 volt, or actually from, uh, it's 11 to 18 volts, I think. Um, but I usually run them off a car battery and then use a charger to keep the car battery up because they don't draw much current. 
And uh, anyway, that's a pretty good way to charge them. And, and if you want to have a bunch of them, uh, Hobby King d does have these adapters where you can keep multiple batteries charged. But it works pretty good, and it's a good way to uh, still use your old drills, be able to use your old drills, and uh, not have to throw them away. Um, they also have a. Uh, um, they also have these little things here that you can use to uh, you can check the uh, voltage in them to see uh, how high the charge is. It'll show you each individual cell in a total voltage. But uh, I, this here is uh, I don't know, these are two or three bucks from Hobby King. The chargers are, uh, like I said, you get the, the cheap ones they have are probably, uh, oh, I don't know, they probably have one, I think, for five bucks. They have a, one that's uh, $10, and it just has a, a place to plug in these. And uh, you just plug this in, and it goes through and charges each cell. And they don't charge as fast, but I mean, it only costs you 10 bucks. But it's a pretty good way to salvage your uh, your battery packs. You can't charge these now. You won't be able to charge these in your uh, original charger because those are set up for charging NICADs. So you'll have to use the separate charger. But it's not that hard to hook up. You just unplug it from here and uh, plug this and, and plug this in to the charger and plug that into the charger. So now it's like I have a new drill. As you seen when I was drilling there, uh, it, it's got as much as that new power as that new one. So, and this in here only cost me uh, nothing because I already had all the stuff. So, anyway, that's what you can do with these now. This one here, the plugs, I, I just put the plug on the inside because it was big enough. And then this one here, I put the plug on the outside because the battery case is so small. And this is just, uh, this case, I cut the bottom off. This is another one of those cases that's glued. So I just bandsawed it around here and cut the bottom off, took the old batteries out. And everything is, uh, soldered the wires, the new wires from this plug. Right here, I soldered to the, up to here. Um, I left an old battery in this one um, as a filler for this right here just to hold the plug in place and then the, everything's all hot glued. The bottom's hot glued on and those wood pieces on the inside are hot glued in. And this is built pretty much the same way. It's soldered to the contacts up here, the plug is, and then it's got a cable inside. See, this one's just got a cable inside where it all fits. Works pretty good, though. Anyway, that's it. See ya. Oh, you know what, too? The, the, there's a weight savings on these, too. Um... Not quite half the weight, but thereabouts. You lose, uh, on these big ones, you lose a pound. And then on these smaller ones like that, it's, uh, you know, you save 80% in weight. So that's nice, too, to get cut down on the weight. At least it is for me to, from carrying around heavy batteries. And these are pretty big batteries I got for the 8 trillion volt. They're uh, 3 amper hours, so they'll, they'll run quite a while without charging. See ya.